Have you ever wanted to make a difference in your community? Have you ever wanted to create a service drive? Hello and welcome to the show, Ways to Impact Your Community. My name is Max Miller and today we will show you how to create your own service project. We will show you videos on what students are doing to impact their community and how you can be a part of the revolution of responsibility. First, let's check out one of the videos. What are students doing at the Tulsa Tech Riverside campus to improve their community? Let's find out. Well, I help out with the little kids at daycare and I help you know, recycle and pick up the streets. I help teach kids at my church and I also sing in the choir every Sunday. I help cook food for the homeless. I volunteer at St. John's in Broken Arrow and I help the nurse aides out. I uh, actually pick up trash on my neighborhood and uh, I've volunteered at local food banks before multiple times. A good way to be um, voluntary in your community is uh, be open to people, be as good of a person as you can be, and uh, trust in yourself and keep a self mentality, you know? I babysit, and uh, it's a nine-year-old little girl, and she's autistic. Um, it's very easy to babysit her. I just got to make sure she takes her medicine, and uh, all she wants to do is play Candyland, and as long as I do that, she's very happy. But if she loses, she sometimes she creates this big old fit, and sometimes I have to calm her down, and it's hard, but all I got to do is try to say, Ellie can play again and maybe you'll win next time and then she calms down and we play again. I volunteer at the Oklahoma Aquarium. Just recently I started a nonprofit organization it's called Bears for a Change where I collect donations and like bears and stuff and take them to the hospital for the kids who have cancer you know just to kind of give back so that's my reasoning is to like yeah. <laughs> How many bears have you do you think you've collected? I've collected maybe around like 50, and I'm gonna. I'm actually going up there probably next weekend to like just hand them out and just see their, just see their face. As you can see, there are lots of diverse ways an individual can be involved in helping the community around them. It can be anything from picking up litter to helping out a church or starting a service drive, like Bears for a Change. You may be asking. How do I start my own service drive? Well, let's begin. The first step is to discover a need in your community. Maybe you've found that some children in poor areas don't have any toys or decent clothes. Maybe your friends at church are struggling to afford food. Look around and find a need that you're passionate about. The next step is to have a plan and a goal. Find a way to fulfill the need. Will it be a clothing drive, a food drive, raising funds? How long is it gonna run? How much do you wanna raise? Ask yourself these questions. The third step is to make it convenient for others to donate to your project. Set up boxes at popular locations and make it easy for donors to contact you. The fourth step is to be creative with your project. When donations are low, don't give up. Just add a little creativity. Add a contest to your drive. Come up with an incentive to get others to donate to your project. The fifth step is to take advantage of the opportunities given to you. Every chance you get, speak out about your service drive and share on social media. Step six is to advertise. Distribute flyers asking for donations. Call friends and family, advertise at many different locations, and make a display poster. You can also call your local newspaper or news channel. And the last step is to find an organization to donate to, if you haven't already. Find an organization you're passionate about. Maybe a local shelter or distribution center or a national corporation. If you have an organization that you're really passionate about, don't be afraid to ask them what donations they're in need of most and create your project around that. I hope these steps have inspired you to go and fulfill a need that you're passionate about. Instead of collecting items to donate, maybe you want to help your community by informing people of a cause you believe in or encouraging individuals to improve their lives. Do you feel like acne is annoying? Does it seem like it never goes away? Well, Naomi Roman thought the same thing, and she found some great tips to help fight acne, and she wants to share them with her community 
to help improve individuals' lives. Here's her video from the 4-H Teens Take on Health video challenge. Do you struggle with acne? Do you feel it is the source of all your problems? What can you do about it? Acne can be a serious problem among teenagers in today's world. It can be caused by stress, anxiety, and bad eating habits. Not only can it be physically painful, but also emotionally painful. It can cause depression, anxiety, OCD, and body dysmorphic disorder. The question is, how can acne be prevented? Not only is daily washing your face important, but also healthy eating habits. There is a link between acne and what you eat. According to the American Academy of Dermatology, certain foods can make it worse, while others can help fight it. Foods to help fight it are and foods to avoid are make a change for your health for better living. That was great! I can't wait to see the improvement. Let's join the revolution of responsibility. I will stand up to join my revolution of responsibility. of responsibility. I will stand up to join my revolution of responsibility. I will stand up to join my revolution of responsibility. I will stand up. I will stand up. I will stand up to join my revolution of responsibility. And now for our final statement. Go make a change for the betterment of yourself and impact your community. Big or small, it makes a difference. Join the revolution of responsibility.